Fellow Spartans, hello and welcome. And today I'm here to announce to you all the new Rome 2 campaign that I'll be doing on my channel. This has all come about from the mod review that I did on the Alexander of Macedon mod by Champlu. And on that video, I reviewed the mod basically and simply told you what it has to offer the game. And from that, it's very well received the video was, which is great. Thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate that. But on that video, you stated why don't you do a small let's play on it and you thought i know what i'll give that a go i'll give this a go and i'll try it out for you so we're going to be doing a mini campaign series on the game playing as alexander of macedon and we should be doing a little let's play of it so yeah this is all that's all it is now if you're not too sure what the mod is about go check out the video it's on my channel now as i said a small little preview of it here you can see in front of you now but all it does is simply add Alexander the Great as a playable general to the Macedon campaign so you can replicate his, his feats in history and you can play him on the campaign map and obviously on the battle map as well. And that's all it does. It's all it simply does. But Champlu, as Champlu is, goes into great detail with this this, this mod. He, the model of Alexander the Great is superbly detailed. So it's very convincing and obviously you do feel like he's been on the game from the very start of when Creative Assembly released it. So it's that good. Um, you just feel you feel like it is Alexander the Great, and it actually is properly him. So, I'm very pleased with the mod, and I'm very pleased that we can actually get this this campaign done for you guys. So, hopefully, you will get a lot of enjoyment out of it. I'm sure I will. Hopefully, you will as well. Um, you you suggest it, so I'm sure you will. But okay, so what I'm going to do today, is obviously, I've announced that is what the campaign is about. But uh, I'm just going to quickly go through with you now a bit of a breakdown of what the campaign is going to be like. So. First, I'll just talk about the mods. So, surprisingly, the first mod I'm going to be using is the Alexander of Macedon mod by Champlu. You would never have guessed that one, would you? <laughs> Probably the most important mod of the campaign. So, that's the first mod I'm going to be using. The second mod is four turns per year. And I'll go into detail about that in a second. The third mod is Champlu's gold unit mod pack, which I use in all my Let's Plays. But I'm going to use it in this one as well because it does enhance the unit recruitment roster for Macedon as well as the other uh, factions so it'd be good to have that mod in place uh, I'm going to be using the HG waters pack I'm going to be using the Rome 1 music and I'm going to be using the Greek style map layout as well which is very good on the game and I think that is it that's your that's your lot basically so that's all the mods I'm going to be using the reason I'm going to be using the four turns per year mod is simply because of this if I just left it with the vanilla one year per turn, or per turn is one year basically, we literally have a campaign going for about maximum, I'd say about 30 to 35 turns. Because if he, because obviously uh, we have to recruit him in the first two turns of the game. So when you start up a campaign on, on, as Macedon, you have to recruit Alexander the Great in the first two turns. If you don't do it, then it's, there's no point, the campaign's over. So he starts when you recruit him at the age of 18. So if we obviously recruited him then at 18 and then he survived till about 55 years, there you go. It'd only be a 30 to 35 uh, turn campaign. So it's pretty useless, pretty waste, you know, waste of time. You don't get much enjoyment out of that. And he won't be able to conquer much because he'd be dead by the time he's finished. So this four turns per year mod will completely enhance that to be greater and better for you and me. So we'll get at least probably 120 to 130 turn campaign out of it and in that time he can you know conquer a lot more than he could have done if he left it the vanilla so that's why I'm going to use the four turns per year mod and then when he does you know he's going to happen everyone dies unfortunately in life is uh, if you didn't know that I'm sorry to say but you know <laughs> when he does die that is it the campaign will finish so hopefully by the time we have finished the campaign and he does die hopefully of natural causes if it isn't, if it's by agent kill or, or by in battle again, the campaign will finish. But if he does die of natural causes at a grand old age, then hopefully we will have replicated a good chunk of what he did in history. It'd be fantastic to say so. So, as I said, once he's dead, that will be the campaign over. Because there's no point in me carrying on, because the tales of Alexander will be no more. We've left it, and the legacy would have spoken for itself, I hope, by that point. But if we can replicate what he did, even better. So, there we go. What I will do on the first actual episode is I'll put a small 
map up a small screenshot of what he did conquer in real life and then we can see if we can replicate that on the actual um, game itself and we can't go probably as far as he did because he went into parts of India and obviously India isn't on the Rome 2 game but if we can replicate as much as we can I think that would be fantastic so there we go that's it so once he's, it's, it, it's done once he's dead that is the the campaign over but as I said we should get a good 130 turn campaign out of this I really think we should get a good chunk out of this so that is it really guys that is that is literally it that's all I've got to say to you so I shall be back with episode 1 very soon I'm going to keep the, the episodes to about 30 to 45 minutes in length maybe be, they may be a bit longer than my standard Rome 2 or Medieval 2 or any let's plays I do in general because they're about half an hour each I may do about a 45 minute episode each for this one so we can get a good chunk out of it each time we do a, a let's play of it and as well do not forget that this campaign is now on the vote if you haven't seen it I've got a video out now thanking you all for my 4,000 subscribers which is awesome and on that video I am doing a live stream to celebrate the, the, the fact I've got to that milestone and this live stream will be of a campaign I'm doing at the moment and this campaign Alexander, Tales of Alexander is including that so if you want this to be on the live stream next week on the 31st of August on Sunday you want this to be on that live stream then vote for it in that video my thank you video and there's a link in there to vote for that on the poll so there you go thank you for watching ladies and gentlemen I'm very excited about this campaign I hope you are give this video a thumbs up if you are excited as well I'm sure you are I shall see you next time. Always, as I say, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And until next time, this is Warrior Spotter for now, saying farewell.